Hey guys and welcome back. So now we're going to add the these parts. We're going to add the screw uh, uh, holders and the holes as well. So let's see how we can do that. I'm going to go back here because I don't want I don't need the blades at the moment and I'm going to create a cube. I'm going to have it face the z axis. I'm going to change it to polygon, change the radius to 0.1 and height. I think we'll keep the height and let's add some more details. And I'm going to place this. Actually, I'm not going to place it anywhere. I'm going to leave it at the center and I'm going to put down a grid. And with this grid, I'm going to set it to 2, 2 and it's facing the uh, X and Y axis. And we want to change the size to match the, the location that we need to. So something like that. Let's try three, three, four, and four. Cool. So now we can transform this and dollar CX. And I'm not sure why the expression is not working anymore. So I'm going to simply uh, change it by hand. And all I need is four points that I can use to copy uh, to copy the tube to. So I'm going to put down a copy two points, and we want to copy the tube to these points. Boom! Now we have that. And all we have to do now is do a boolean operation between that and the tubes. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, combine both of them. So it, I'm going to put down a onion onion operation, and now we're combining those. And I'm going to make a copy of this, and we want to make another tube with end caps, and we want to make it smaller, and we want to make it bigger. And now we're going to run another boolean. And this time we're going to subtract that volume to make the holes. So we want the subtract and now we have holes. And we have connection here as well. So I think, yeah, I think I did. So let's do that. So here you can see uh, these, these holes, they don't have any details on them. Actually, let's change this. Cool. Um, so these uh, edges here, they don't have any details, and I'm going to turn on A seams, A, B seams, and I'm going to put down a delete, group delete. Make sure I don't have any groups, and I'm going to put down a bevel, and we want to bevel those guys. Let's try 0 0.01, and let's put four edges, four uh, subdivisions, and let's put more. Cool. So now we have some nice, uh, some nice details for these holes, and same here. Cool. So I think we're pretty much done. Uh, we only have the other part we're going to be doing is this so let's do that uh, let's do that now it's actually pretty simple I'm going to just start with a grid and just make some shapes so I'm gonna make a grid and set it to 3 by 3 and we change the size to <coughs> 2 by 2 by 2 and let's move some points points and with the we can use the bevel node on points and if we do that we can easily round fill <coughs> this 
So you can see we have this very interesting shape now. And let me verify something super quick. Cool. So the next thing that we need uh, before the bevel is the we need to group all the points that are outside. So I want to change this to points and turn on edges and unshared edges. And that should contain all the points that are outside. Let's turn on middle click. You can see there is eight points and uh, there is some, yeah, you can see now all the points are grouped. And if we use that with the poly bevel, we'll, we'll group only the points outside. And let's make it round and let's add some details. And now we can see we have some very, uh, very interesting shape and we can easily go back and change that. Actually, let me copy the original one I had to give you guys an idea. So this is this is the one I made and then with the poly bevel on it, it will it will look like that. So we can increase that and then we simply extrude that. and output back and then we can bevel it and turn on flat edges and let's copy this to uh, to the same grid that we had or make a copy of the grid that we used for the tubes so copy two points I want to copy this to these points and let's template what we have and see how far we are so let's trans transform this and make it smaller and it looks like the oh, okay cool so we need to orient these guys so I'm gonna put down a point bop and let's see if this works. I'm going to subtract the uh, the normals. Sorry, the position from the center. And this has, yeah, we need to find the center of the, so I'm not going to bother with that for the moment. At the moment, I'm going to simply do it by hand. So let's remove this. And let's template this here and let's move this one up. Something like that. And let's copy it. Let's put down a mirror node that and then we're gonna mirror all of this again along the Y axis. Cool. So now we have the geometry we need for the boolean and then we're going to put down a boolean node and do the boolean between this and this and let's move it out and we're going to change the operation to subtract go we are subtracting that detail from the mesh and we're gonna turn on the again the AB seam here and let's delete groups just to make sure and let's bevel the intersection Cool. So I think that's pretty much it. We are going to add the the blades, and I think we're pretty much done. We have everything we need, and uh, hopefully you guys you learned some stuff. And uh, the only other detail that I had was 
was an extra geometry that I quickly modeled to add this and it's very similar. It's basically this. I just extruded it all all the way through and extruded some other parts and this is meant for the cable. You know, we have cable that goes through and I think that's pretty much it. In the next uh, videos, we're going to be rendering this uh, using Arnold to produce the render showed in the video. Thank you so much for watching and uh, hope you guys liked it. If you have any feedback, please feel free to email me or uh, post comments in the YouTube videos. Thanks so much for watching and talk to you soon. Bye bye.